Thank you. Uh, we are hearing from all across the country about the ways that the American Rescue Plan is helping to safely reopen our schools, get vaccines into arms, get relief directly to families, and support small business and local economies and a lot more. But we also know this, if we do want to come back stronger and fairer than ever before as a country, our work is not over, far from it. We've still got parents who cannot afford or find childcare. We've got workers who are having to choose between staying home when they or a loved, a loved one is sick and earning a paycheck. There are students trying to figure out how to afford the next step in their education without being saddled by decades of debt. We are long overdue for investments in transportation and broadband and clean energy, which will not only create good paying jobs, but will allow us to finally begin tackling the ever growing urgent need of climate change. I could go on, but this is the point. Senate Democrats are determined to keep making sure the Senate is one that acts to get things done and puts the concerns and stresses families and communities are facing first. These are not Democratic or Republican challenges, and I know Democrats are not the only ones who are hearing from constituents about child care and paid leave and climate or the need for better paying jobs. So we certainly welcome Senate Republicans taking these issues as seriously as we do and working with us on them. But if they don't, we are not going to let them stand in the way of progress American people are making clear they want to see. So I'm looking forward to the work with all of our colleagues to make sure our policies match the scope of what workers and families are dealing with in today's economy so we can come back from the last extremely tough year stronger and fairer for everyone. Senator Stabenow. 